The 2025 East to West Silver Lake 1800 RB seamlessly blurs the line between being an excellent couples coach built for two and yet still having plenty of space to entertain. And that entertainment space starts right back here. Take a look at the massive countertop space you get in this layout. I mean, I've seen travel trailers that are twice this size that don't have this much counter space, and it's perfect. You have plenty of room by the sink for dishes. You have all the space back here for a coffee maker, blender, toaster. If you want to make a charcuterie board, you're gonna serve to guests. You have all this space in which you can do so, and I love having a big kitchen in a smaller layout like this. Because not only do you have the big counter space, but with that underneath, you're also going to get big storage, massive, massive drawers in here. And they were smart in design, and underneath the sink, they kept it open. Why is that smart? Well, because now I have a space for a trash can. Because the last thing I want when inviting guests over is to have my trash bag hanging on a pole. It stinks, it's gross, I don't want it. I want it to be able to be tucked away. They did that. High rise faucet, single basin sink, and it is undermounted because you get the thermoformed press countertop. A nice upgrade from the T mold we're used to seeing, especially in this price point. Three burner recessed cooktop on here. Underneath, in lieu of an oven, they went with the microwave. And by doing that, what that allows is extra storage space. You have the drawer underneath the microwave, but more importantly, up top where that microwave would have been, you get even more storage. Storage on both sides of that hood, storage in the back, and you have a couple extra drawers right here, so you have a spot for silverware and everything else. Again, masterfully done in the kitchen. Uh, you'll also see the 12 volt, 10.7 cubic foot ever chill refrigerator right here in the back. Uh, I like that as well. I definitely prefer having this over your gas absorption fridge just because you get more space. The only thing, or the only critique I will have for me personally is I would have liked one more electrical outlet back here, right? Like either in the wall here, up top, something so I could put my coffee maker back here. Because my outlets are over to this side, I'm kind of forced to have it here a little bit over to the other side. I would have liked to have seen that a little more tucked away. Speaking of tucked away, let's take a look at the bathroom. boy is this a great shower i mean i i can i can fully stand sideways in here which is something that is pretty darn rare for an rv this size i can stand up at six foot tall there is no skylight the advantage of that means that i can be anywhere in this shower i can actually move around freely uh and i'm a big fan of that thanks to the 81 inch tall ceiling height uh, nothing else, you know, I mean, you have your standard hand wand, nothing too fancy here, but the fact that I have all this space, some shelves in the back, and this built-in uh, kind of door here, rather than a shower curtain, is going to be a huge win. I know that it's a little noisy, but you don't have to worry about wiping it down. It is antimicrobial as it rolls up, which is great, and you're not going to get water all over the floor. You also see good-sized countertop. They did an excellent job. They extended it all the way to the wall here, and you have a cutout, so that way, as you're sitting on the toilet, if they didn't, you know, my shoulder, my arm would be slammed in here, but by cutting that out, it actually makes it very comfortable. It is a plastic bowl. That is something that, you know, after a few years, I probably would replace to a porcelain. But again, I, you know, it's not going to be a deal breaker for me. You also see some storage here as well as underneath. And then right up top is going to be the mirrored medicine cabinet. And then we have the make it or break it, the Murphy bed, right? People either love it or hate it. I personally really like it in this floor plan because it just gives you the extra seating that I think you need to be able to entertain. Uh, one thing that I, I did notice, and, and Aaron, uh, I know you and I were talking about this, is that this one doesn't have a place to sit and eat. So you may have to bring a table or just have like a little, um, you know, like a TV dinner tray, right? Man, it reminds me of growing up. Um, but you may want to just think of that as well when you are looking at this one. To make the bed though, it, it is pretty simple, right? When I talk about Murphy beds, it, it's either gonna be 
I always say it's one of two things. It's either functional or it looks nice, right? This one looks pretty nice. Let's see how functional it is. First off, we remove the pillows. We throw them at Aaron. Oh, almost had that one. Oh, 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 nice. Look at that. Got ninja-like reflexes. All right, we're gonna drop that down just like so. I already undid that one because I'm, well, I, I cheated and it's camera and this just makes life easier. Normally you have to undo both latches. It is magnetic, so you're just gonna give that a little pull here. Just like so. And then this will come and drop right down. Now, it looks really nice. What you'll notice, you do have a split mattress. It's probably not gonna be a, um, a deal breaker, right? My recommendation, just like any Murphy bed, come in, lay on it, see what you think. Just bear in mind, most people with a Murphy bed, if it's uncomfortable, you can just get a like memory foam mattress topper, throw it on, you'll sleep through the night, you'll wake up feeling great. You can also see wardrobe on both sides, plus you have nightstands there. And somewhere here, there it is, you will have an electrical outlet with USB, uh, USB A and USB C, so you can charge your cell phones, plug in a CPAP machine, whatever else you have to do. But either way, inside, like I said, I love this floor plan. I think it's great. Excellent seating, big space, storage, storage, storage. Did you see that storage? Yeah, I didn't talk about that one. Even more storage right there. Big ceilings. But the question is, how is it built? All right, let's get into it. We're gonna kind of work from the ground up when we talk about construction. So we will start with the tires. These are gonna be 205-75 R15D range tires. As I talked about earlier, our leaf spring is going to be underslung, so it'll be under that axle, which as I mentioned, isn't gonna give you quite as much clearance, but does give you a more stable ride. The axles themselves are going to be by Terran, and they do a couple things I really like. They're trying to bring like automotive standards Standards into the RV world, which I'm a huge fan of. So a lot of their components, basically all their components, are going to be uh, automatically welded by robots to help take out any human error in there. So they do a really good job with that. Working our way up a little bit more, this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and forced air heated underbelly. So that's not only going to keep critters out, but hopefully keep things a little bit warmer in there in colder climates, helping to prevent some of that freezing. Going up a little bit further as we talk about the floor itself this one is going to have two by three inch floor joists where most especially at this price point will have two by two so a little bit bigger then on top of that is going to be 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood whereas again a lot of competitors in this space are going to have osb then you have that congolium flooring on top of that the sidewalls are going to be r7 insulation all the way throughout pretty standard conventional build here and then as we make our way all the way up to the top on the roof this one has the tough flex pvc roof membrane which i personally really like because it's way 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 less maintenance than an epdm you still get excellent flexibility it has puncture resistance it has tear resistance it has sun chemical resistance pretty much everything resistance overall it is just an excellent roof system to have it's built well but you want to make sure we have great features outside too and we do starting off the power tongue jack this of course makes it much easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover behind that little bit further you can see rails for the battery and a battery disconnect so you can just turn that and kill that slow drain from the battery you also see the front end i like what they did here they have this smooth aluminum front rather than the ribbed on the front this not only makes it look a lot nicer but is also much easier to clean of course we have diamond plating underneath to help protect from rocks that may get thrown up by the tow vehicle uh, as we come back a little bit further, something you will notice is the magnetic catch on the baggage door. And I know that seems like a minor thing. And in a couple's unit, it's not quite as big of a deal, but it's something, you know, you don't have to worry about grandkids or anyone coming and breaking off a plastic clip. I definitely prefer having the magnets. And if you take a look inside, you'll see that everything in there is completely finished off. I really like that too. From the standpoint that A, it looks better, and B, it just makes it so that you're not gonna, you know, catch uh, as you're pulling things in and out, not gonna be catching on, you know, your uh, support structure or anything like that. Um, again, I just like that they finish everything off for you. 
Going into the coach, you have the Lippert solid step with the larger foldable grab handle. This just gives you that extra support when entering or exiting. And of course, you have the aluminum treads on there so you don't have to worry about those rusting out. Just fold it up into the door when you're ready to travel. Up top is the power awning with an LED light strip. And man, I love this awning because it is so easy to adjust the pitch. Speaking of, a lot of the RVs at this price point, not a lot, but the, some of the competitors right at this price point, they don't even have an adjustable pitch on the awning, uh, especially on some of these smaller units. So that is something that, uh, again, I, I think they did a really good job on. Right outside is TV hookup. If you want TV, propane quick connect down underneath. So you can hook up your Blackstone or Coleman grill, whatever else you want to hook up there. You can see the square tubular bumper on the back attached to that is the spare tire. And right here in the back is the tankless on-demand water heater. So you can have nearly instant hot water. When we tested it, Aaron, it was a, a what? A, like 15 seconds or so, something like that. And it fired up and man, it lasted for 20 minutes before uh, it, it basically stopped as a safety, literally shut off the water, turn it back on, you get another 20 minutes of hot water. It's fantastic. Right up top, you can see a place to connect a telescoping ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. And you will also notice the backup camera prep. And then as we come around to the off camp side, you'll notice 30 amp detachable power cord plugs right in there, black tank flush again something oftentimes we don't see on these a uh, little bit smaller units not that it's tiny but you know it's a little bit smaller you also see the hot and cold uh, access to the outside shower right there and then as we take a look up front this will be the rest of our water connections both fresh water city water as well as the cable satellite and of course I currently have the slide in folks I'm telling you if you're looking for something that's perfect for a couple but also you want to be able to entertain this one right here is amazing. Now, if you like this, but you're looking for something maybe just a little bit bigger, well, stick around, I got something for you.